Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Jennifer Marie, where I teach you how to become a work from home freelancer. Today I'm really excited to talk to you about ChatGPT4 and all of its updates in the past few weeks. These updates are so amazing and can help you so much as a freelancer or a small business owner or as someone who wants to start making money online. The updates have been so popular that right now the CEO of OpenAI, Sam Altman, two days ago wrote on X, formerly known as Twitter, that they are pausing new ChatGPT Plus signups because they are at capacity. However, you can still sign up to be notified within the app when the subs reopen. So why is this happening? What is so amazing about the new ChatGPT Plus? And what are some business uses? If you don't have a Plus account, I'm also going to talk to you about some free options you can use. So stay tuned for that as well. So the first new feature that I want to show you is DALI 4. You can now create unique images based on textual descriptions using the DALI model directly into ChatGPT. So you can just open up ChatGPT and when you click here on the side, you can see you have different options. You can use GPT-4, which includes DALI, browsing and analysis, or you could just select GPT-3.5. So when you're using ChatGPT, you don't have to click on DALI in order to ask it to generate an image for you. However, if your sole purpose when you're using ChatGPT is to generate images or concepts or illustrations, I recommend going to the side here and clicking on DALI. DALI absolutely unreal. You can use this to generate artwork, visualize concepts, create illustrations, and you can even ask DALI to generate images in different sizes and styles depending on your request. Let's do some examples. A friend of mine is a yoga instructor and has a popular social media account. So I'm gonna ask DALI to create a square sized image for an Instagram post for a yoga instructor, brunette woman doing yoga outside, Christmas themed, Santa is doing yoga with her, and then click send message. So we can use this to create really unique, fun images that people are more likely to click on and engage with because it's something they haven't seen before rather than just pulling an image from a stock site that everyone has seen and that's not very original. I mean, look how amazing this is. Here are two square sized images for an Instagram post. And to download these images, you just click on one and then click here on download. Now let's do another example. Let's say you want to sell a product, for example, an ebook. I want Dali to create a book mock-up we can use, landscape size image of a thin hardcover white book standing up on a coffee table, cover facing the camera, in a cozy living room in front of a lit fireplace. And boom, look at that. This is amazing. You could use something like this and place your own book cover on this book using Illustrator or Photoshop. And the sky is the limit. You can ask Dali to create absolutely any kind of background for whatever product you want just like that. Another thing you can do with DALI is create a pattern. So let's say you're creating a business card and you want to make your business card unique. You can say to DALI, create a black and white pattern, for example. DALI's created these two patterns for me. And then you can click on this refresh button if you want it to try again. So I've hit the refresh button a few times. You can see there are a few different styles that DALI has created. Now I'm going to ask it to create a pattern in a landscape size, make the pattern quite small and intricate, add some elements related to microphones, audio waves, sound studio, etc., for a voiceover related business. So you can see I had a bit more of a conversation with DALI. They were experimenting, creating a few different images and patterns for me. This one was kind of cool as well, but I wanted something to be a bit more of a pattern and I'm really happy with this one. You can see there are some elements, some musical elements. I'm gonna go ahead and download this. So now we can go back to Canva, then click on uploads and upload the pattern you just downloaded Then click on it, adjust it to where you would like it, then right click, layer, send to back, and then you can just reposition it however you like it. And just like that, you have a really unique business card with a pattern that no one else has. So if you don't have a Plus account with ChatGPT, you can use DALI 3 for free by using Bing Chat within your Microsoft Edge browser. So when you go to bing.com, click on here on chat, and for example, I said create a black and white pattern in landscape size with some stylistic audio and sound elements and they generated these patterns here. You can see all of the patterns were in square size. 
Now I tried to get them to make some edits to these images, but they can't modify the graphic art they generated. However, they can create new ones based on a different prompt. So they tried again and they created a lot of these beautiful patterns that you could also use. So to download these, you would just click on download. So you could go ahead and use this method to create patterns or custom images as we have done in the last few examples. Another new feature I want to show you is that you can now create your own custom version of ChatGPT for a specific purpose. If you click here on explore, you can see my GPTs. In another video, I'm going to show you how to create your own GPT, but you can see some examples of this here. OpenAI has made all sorts of custom GPTs, data analysis, game time, cosmic dream, coloring book hero, and essentially your own custom GPTs can be made with no coding experience. And essentially you're creating a custom GPT that is created for a specific purpose. And you could actually end up making money with your custom GPTs as later this month, OpenAI is going to roll out the GPT store to earn money based on how many people are using your GPT. So stay tuned for a future video on that. And I'm going to teach you how to create your own custom GPT and how to configure it. Another new feature of ChatGPT4 is that you can now upload files to ChatGPT, including text documents, data files, code files, and images. So to upload a file or image, just click on this attach icon and upload whatever file it is on your computer. I've just uploaded a thumbnail image that I created for my latest video for my Studio Gen channel. And I'm going to ask ChatGPT to come up with some captions for other social media platforms. So I've just said this is a thumbnail for a new video on my Studio Gen channel. Create unique captions for Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to promote this video. Include hashtags. I'm also going to ask ChatGPT to analyze this image to help me create a brand plan. And you can see it's first come up with a color scheme. It's given me the codes for the most prominent colors in this image. It's analyzing my typography or fonts and has even given me some branding plan ideas. I've even asked it to create a cool tech inspired pattern in landscape format I can use based on the color scheme of my uploaded photo. And I kept clicking the refresh icon and it's come up with these four patterns and I especially like this last one here. We can even ask it to come up with 20 video ideas that are similar to the image I uploaded include thumbnail design ideas. So just from uploading one image into ChatGPT, we've created a branding plan, generated beautiful patterns we can use, and even a whole bunch of different video ideas. This can also be beneficial if you want to do some research on your competitors or people within your niche and try to create content that is similar to theirs, especially their most popular content. You can also upload PowerPoint presentations or PDF files or text files. I've just uploaded a PowerPoint presentation I created for my English channel, and I'm going to ask ChatGPT to generate a blog post on this PowerPoint presentation. Create a blog post based on this PowerPoint. This is my PowerPoint presentation, and you can use my words exactly as written. Please include formatting, titles, bullet points, and maintain my style of writing. I'm also going to ask it to create a 20 question quiz worksheet for my students based on this PowerPoint. And ChatGPT is generating a quiz that I can just copy and paste into a text document and print off for my students. And now I've asked ChatGPT to create an interesting image and landscape format related to this topic that I can use in my blog post. So you can see they've come up with this really cool image. However, the text is all off. This is something you would want to edit out with a photo editing software like Photoshop or even Canva. I refreshed it again and the image is really beautiful and colorful, but I would want to use a photo editor to remove all of this text because it is just nonsense. I asked ChatGPT again to create an interesting image without any text and they still added text. So. Currently, there are some limitations to this. It's not perfect. You would need to use an editing software to make this perfect. Now, if you are looking for a free alternative, 
you could try something like Bard. So go to bard.google.com, signing in with your Google account, and you can click here to upload an image. So I've just uploaded that same thumbnail and I'm going to ask the same prompt to Bard. So I said create captions to promote this video and Bard has analyzed this image and come up with some different captions. Now Bard is hit or miss. I had to try a few different ways to get the results. So I do recommend ChatGPT Plus over Bard currently. However, if you can't afford the Plus plan right now or can't access it because it's at capacity, this is an alternative that you can experiment with for free. So this has just been a quick overview of some of the features you can use with the new GPT-4, especially for freelancers and business users. There are many other things that you can do with ChatGPT-4, so make sure to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date and get more tutorials just like this one. And make sure to subscribe to my other AI-focused channel, Studio Gen, where I primarily focus on free AI tools. I've linked you to my other channel in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.